Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Sunday Night Football postgame show. Well, the New England Patriots beat the Green Bay uh, Packers at uh, uh, Gillette Stadium in New England 31-17. to And the uh, Patriots jumped out to the early 7 nothing lead, and then Green Bay kicked the field goal, and it was 7-3. And New England just had Green Bay's number, but Green Bay tried to battle back, but just could not in this game. And there, in the third quarter, uh, the Packers fumbled, and... Uh, and and in the fourth, uh, they just kept going. And it was just kept going. And it was, uh, I think, uh, it's about it was 24. And then and, and New England put the seal directly by scoring another touchdown. And it was 31-17. And and uh, and Green Bay just they 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 just didn't have it tonight. They tried to battle back, but they just could not in this game tonight. And so uh, uh, New England goes to six and two, and Green Bay falls. I think to, uh, three. Well, and Green Bay just a, uh, another loss for Green Bay. They just could not. They didn't have it in them tonight. So uh, they're gonna have to just they're gonna have to study their opponents and get a strategy going for next week's opponent that they play. So because they're gonna want to come back to bounce back from this game. The Pats, who whoever they play, they're they're gonna wanna they're wanna wanna win a, win a, next week's game, whoever they play. So we shall see uh, what happens what happens next week with in week ten. So uh, yeah, boy, just what a nice Tom Brady. You get the game ball, buddy. Uh, Twenty nine of, of thirty four uh, carries, uh, two hundred fifty nine yards, two hundred. 47 yards, one touchdown, one interception, and you get the game ball, Tom, and so does uh, Cordell Patterson. You you both play really well tonight, guys. So Green Bay with with the loss, and New England with the win, 31 to 17. I'm gonna go over all the early and late game scores one more time, in case you didn't get to hear them. You know the 49ers beat the Oakland Raiders Thursday night, 34 to three. The Atlanta Falcons upset the Washington Redskins, 38 to 14 at FedEx Stadium in Washington. Uh, and uh, 49ers of Oakland Raiders game was at Levi Stadium in San Francisco in Santa Clara, California. The Minnesota Vikings walloped and were all over the Detroit Lions at US Bank, US Bank Stadium in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 24 to nine. The the Pittsburgh Steelers upset the Baltimore Ravens at M&T Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, 23 to 16. The Kansas City Chiefs beat the Cleveland Browns at First Energy Stadium, 31 37 21 and the Browns just, uh, they tried to battle back and did, they could not prevail in this game. And I just feel the Chiefs have their number by far. So they're going to want to break this four games and hopefully next week when they play the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, the Miami Dolphins beat the New York Jets 13 to 6 at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. And boy, what a big win for the Dolphins. The Chicago Bears were all over the Buffalo Bills at Ralph Wilson Stadium in uh, Buffalo forty-one to nine. Just Buffalo, just an embarrassing loss. They just, they just did not have it today. The uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers lost to the Carolina Panthers. Carolina beat them forty-two to twenty-eight at Bank of America Stadium in North Carolina. And now you let those are your early games. Now your late games. The uh, uh, L.A. Chargers. Beat the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle. Still one on the road, 21 to 25 to 17. The uh, Houston Texans upset the Denver Broncos at Sports Authority Field, and that Seahawks Chargers game was at Century Link Field in Seattle. The Houston Texans, as I said, upset the Denver Broncos at Sports Authority Field in Denver by two, 19 to 17. Boy, big win! Two wins in a row for the Houston Texans, and the Rams are no longer unbeaten. They lose by 10 to the New Orleans Saints at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in New Orleans and Superdome in New Orleans, uh, 45 to 35. So the Rams go to 8 and 1, and I think the uh, Saints are 6 and 2. Just check me if I'm wrong. But the and New England beat the Pack, New England Patriots beat the Green Bay Packers 31 to 17. And tomorrow night's Monday Night Football game, the Dallas Cowboys and the Tennessee Titans will scroll off at AT&T Stadium in Dallas and Big D. And I felt Dallas is going to have the edge on this game by far because it's in Big D, and I can't go against the home team on a Monday night. 
So, and Tennessee, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, I think, uh, I'm trying to see. I think the Titans won a bye week last week. I believe so. Yes, they're coming off a bye week. And the, uh, Cowboys, uh, I think are coming off a bye week, too, I think. Yeah, both the uh, Titans and Cowboys are also coming off a bye week as well. So, they're, w- both teams are going to be out to win this game, but I think only one is going to... I feel Dallas has the edge in this one. I, re- I really do feel that Dallas does. So, uh, we shall see. And next Sunday night, the Dallas Cowboys will take on the uh, Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday Night Football next week. I think that's in Philadelphia, Big D. Just check, 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 check if I'm wrong, but I'll keep you posted. And uh, so, oh, that's going to be a good game next week. And uh, and we're going to, and I think this has been another whirl, whirlwind week of football in the NFL this week. So, so yeah, a lot of upsets, about five upsets this week. Boy. And it's been a whirlwind week in the NFL football boys. And the Browns need to look at their strategy next week. They need to figure out a way to snap this slide against Atlanta. And they need to uh, regroup and look at the strategy, stay their opponent, and really come back and win this game. Well, that's going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 uh, Sunday Night Football uh, postgame show. And for this week's early and late games, and with there being only one game left in the NFL, I'll see you tomorrow for the Monday Night Football uh, pregame show and after the game is concluded, the postgame show. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1. I'm done.